What's going on, everybody? This is your WOF Outlook and Discussion for Monday, March 6, 2023. And before we get into today's video, I hope everyone is doing well, remaining positive, and is always staying blessed. All right, you guys, today what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at the next seven days, see what Mother Nature has in store for us here across the southern U.S. As this past weekend was a very pleasant and beautiful weekend here across southeast Louisiana with low humidity and nice, comfortable temperatures, it was very pleasant to be outside, very enjoyable. If you didn't get a chance to get out, oh, maybe next time when, when, you get the, when it comes again, please get the chance. It was very wonderful. I love when Mother Nature sends beautiful weather like this. But what we're going to do here, you guys, today we're going to take a look at the next seven days. We're going to roughly look during the afternoon hours, you guys. So here we go, starting today at 3 p.m. As you can see, we are firmly um, under high pressure here across the south and southeast. But as you can see across Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, even parts of Florida, we could see some pop-up showers here throughout the um, afternoon as that daytime heating and low-level moisture kicks on in. And as we head into Tuesday, you guys, same old story here, high pressure dominating, scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder here could possibly develop during the afternoon hours. And on Tuesday, I want to also show you guys convective outlook day two. As you can see, there's a possibility that we could see a marginal risk of some severe weather here, particularly some hail and probably some isolated damaging winds here across parts of Oklahoma and Texas with a general thunderstorm risk on the outside of that. And that, as you can see, is on the outer edge of this high pressure that is currently um, located across the eastern Gulf of Mexico. And now as we go to Wednesday, you guys, to check to see what the weather is going to be doing. Same old, same old. As you can see, we're going to have a little system here coming across northern Mississippi, Alabama, possibly bringing some heavy showers probably a thunderstorm or two as that heads out. And we're going to go to convective outlook day three. As the Storm Prediction Center does also have, as you can see here, another marginal risk for some severe weather where hail and locally damaging winds will probably be the main primary threat with that convection there. And as you can see across Florida, possible, possible showers, maybe a rumble of thunder here developing in the afternoon. Now, as we move along to Thursday, you guys, make sure I'm on the right date, you guys, because these dates be having me all confused. All right, yes, we're on Thursday, you guys, here. And as you can see, high pressure is still over the eastern Gulf, Florida. And we have this system here that's um, on the edge of that high pressure that could possibly bring some heavy rain here to parts of Arkansas, extending into Tennessee, the Memphis area, even down into Georgia here, the Atlanta area. On Thursday, all these areas could be seeing and experiencing some heavy rain here. And in, you're going to take a look further up north, you guys. As you can see here, since our area is very warm and under high pressure, you can see here we have a system across Nebraska, Iowa, bringing heavy snow here, heavy wintry precipitation to um, parts of the northern plains here. And heavy rain to be in the Central Plains, Missouri, Southern Iowa. And as I said, into Arkansas, even parts of Oklahoma could see some rain. As we move into Friday afternoon, you guys, let's see. Let me get it to the correct where I want to be. All right, here we go. Friday afternoon, you can see higher pressure starting to break down somewhat, you guys, here. As we have this system moving, um, moving on out off the East Coast, you can see showers and thunderstorms. But a trailing front here um, from North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, even extending to our area here across southeast Louisiana, extending even further southwest to even the Houston area. We could see some showers here Friday afternoon with this look like weak frontal boundary that's going to be with this frontal boundary that's going to be over our area. And as we look to Saturday, you guys. You can see here, high pressure still in control here. Not as strong as it was in the beginning of the week, but it's still here, you guys, across the Gulf of Mexico. 
And as you can see, it's just going to be pretty much the same old, same old, just quietness here. Maybe a few showers across Oklahoma, Texas, and extending on up into parts of Missouri. I'm in Missouri here. Yeah, that's right. Missouri, you guys. But other than that, it's just going to be really mainly quiet. And we're going to go to the last day here on the 12th. Let's take a look here. And here we go, you guys. As you can see, we're going to have a system coming through. The system, I mean, a system coming through over the weekend, you guys, here across the northern plains, yet again, bringing wintry weather here across parts of the Midwest, Chicago, Wisconsin, Michigan, with some heavy rain and possibly some strong storms could be with this system. But as of right now, we can't, um, we can't say how the severe um, threat is going to look with this system as of right now, the severe signal, but I can say... For Sunday into going into Monday, we should see a front coming here across southeast Louisiana, southern Mississippi. So do expect some showers, maybe a few thunderstorms. But other than that, we're going to experience, continue a nice warm week for this week, spring-like. I enjoy the spring warm. If you do, get out and enjoy it. If you love the winter cold weather, we'll probably have a cool down for the beginning of next week, you guys, but I don't think it's going to be anything hawkery like, but we'll check back and see about that. So this is for, this was the um, next seven days, you guys, a daily outlook. Be safe, be careful, and we'll check back tomorrow or on Wednesday and take another look at this to see what the latest, um, what the latest daily outlook that Mother Nature has in store for us. So everyone be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.